If I do regret anything, it's being dumb enough to join the Mafia. Ralph Cipriano with Fox 29. Dave Schratweiser just published an ebook. Schratweiser told me about the story, and uh, I just found it fascinating. And it's selling like hotcakes. Yeah, so we're at the top of the criminal biography list. It's called The Hitman, A True Story of Murder, Redemption, and the Melrose Diner, about the life and crimes of John Vesey. A mafia hitman turned government witness turned wealthy car salesman. John was in the witness protection program but gave up the anonymity remarried and says he's a changed man. I had the chance to interview John Vesey yesterday. He talked about growing up on drugs, his recruitment to the mafia, the murders he's done time for, and where his life is now. I think that uh, Ralph did a really good job. I do too. Uh, we spent about two years working on it. Some parts were really hard to go over. I mean, reading over and over and over again. I never, like, Grew up saying, oh, I want to be in a mob. I grew up robbing them. You know what I mean? I wanted to get high. They had money, and I didn't, so that's what I did. I was always a tough kid in the neighborhood that was always robbing people, drilling people, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of burning of people. And I used to put people in chairs with, you know, Christmas lights on them and spray them with the hose Boy. or get the big pasta pot and throw water. But then my wife from the rain, she would get mad and say, there's no more Christmas lights because I burned all the bulbs out, you know, from electricity to people. John, do you ever I feel myself. sorry for I, I, killing people? I do. I mean, I, I do. I mean, uh, I don't lose sleep over it. I mean, uh, if I could take back anything, I would take back killing Baldino because I argued the point that night, and I argued it the week before. I didn't think he should have died. But, you know, as I said, I know it sounds cruel. I wasn't going to get killed for not killing him. Yeah. So. Joe Merlino's out, he's in Florida. Yeah, that's and funny, I'm back in Philly, he ain't, huh? Who's more scared now? He's not gonna get a movie deal, all right? Number two is he's not allowed back in Philly. They don't want him back because they've seen all the greed and things he did. Do you think that with the upcoming racketeering trial now, do you think that they would try to bring you back? To testify? Yeah. I would never testify. I don't like the government. I didn't make friends with right. the government. Uh, some of these guys become rats and then they go on to do speaking in arrangements right. to tell people how to fight crime. I enjoy people that commit crime. So what are you doing now? Now I'm training people how to sell cars. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously... Still in the car business. Yeah, okay. I want to open my own car lot. Maybe right here in South Philly. Even after an entire book has been written about him, there is still more he wants to say. Obviously, day on a, early on a radio show, I made a mistake to say that I didn't love my children's mother. What I meant was I didn't know what love was. Not that I didn't love them, like... You didn't love, love her well. Well, I don't know. I loved her the best I could. John says there is definitely a movie in his future and that he'd want to play himself. But I would like to have a movie come out, sure. I would actually want to be in it. But if he couldn't, perhaps Robert De Niro would work. They <laughs> say I look like Robert De Niro. I don't know if I do or don't like a young one. For Philly.com, I'm Marnie Hall.